afternoon, Central Texas, and welcome to your Austin Real Estate Daily. It's our daily video blog about Central Texas real estate. It's about making money, <laughs> not losing money. It's about yes. being educated. It's about learning. Yeah. And it's about having fun, too. That's what this whole video blog is about. It's about finding out what's going on, but having a good time, information, but in a fun way. Okay, guys, tax credit echo effect that's going on in the Austin market right now. You're probably asking yourself, what the heck is John talking about? Well, what we like to do is look at pending home sales and the number of active listings out in the market to come up with months of inventory. And I, I know the correct way to do it is with closed loans and uh, active listings to come up with a ratio. Uh, but I, would look, I, I like to look at pending sales because that gives me a future look at what's happening uh, either right now and a little bit into the future as opposed to things that have already closed. That's kind of a, a, a backward uh, looking um, uh, way to do it. So uh, when we're looking right now at pending sales here in the Austin area in certain neighborhoods, let's think about the tax credit and the tax credit echo effect that's happening right now. Now, one of the hottest areas around town uh, during the last six to eight months was the Wells Branch area. Uh, I know, remember about six months ago, Jason, we looked in that area and there was about 80 homes listed for sale and there was about 65 to 70 homes under contract are pending sale in that neighborhood. So, zero months of inventory if you look at it like that. Very, very hot neighborhood. Well, I just looked at it this Sunday and there's 40 active listings in the Wells Branch area and four pending sales. That would uh, uh, equate out to a 10 months supply of inventory in that area. That's big a jump. huge, big jump. So what's what's the deal? What's going on there? Also looked around some other areas of town. Looked down at SWW, which is like the Circle C area. Higher priced homes over there, but they're sitting at three months worth of inventory if you look at pending sales in that area. So what's going on? What I think has happened here is that it's the tax credit echo effect. Homes priced less than $250,000 were typically first time home buyers. When are those people buying this year? Well, they're not buying right now. They're not going to get $8,000. They already moved all their transactions back six months, and they took advantage of it at the beginning of the year. So what we're seeing is a void in the $250,000 price range because all those buyers have already been used up for the year. But if you look across the board in the higher price ranges, those neighborhoods on the inventory numbers are staying steady, strong market, good interest rates are helping. So. As a real estate agent out there, or as a loan officer, one of the marketing techniques I think you should employ is, I know we were all looking at uh, lower income, our, our lower priced homes here over the last six months, 18 months, with the first time home buyer tax credit. It may be time to switch our marketing around and start looking a little bit forward and look and find out where that next large buyer pool is gonna be. So, take a look at pending sales and active sales in the Austin MLS to look for what the future holds for us. Thank <laughs> you.